over our practice for tonight. <clears throat> I appreciate everybody sending in the text after we discussed our uh, discussed that after the tournament, uh, both individual weaknesses and, and greatest team weakness that you see. And for the most part, we're all pretty much all on the same page. Um, <clears throat> we're going to break up and do three stations, the first 20 minutes of practice. We're not going to do a combined skate with the other team. Goalies are going to go with Coach Spittle and work on some uh, things that I've assigned to them. And uh, we're going to do three passing stations. Um, so I'll explain all three passing stations to you. You'll spend about six or seven minutes at each one, and then we'll do a rotate. So you get to do a bit of everything. Um, <clears throat> so on the first one, we've done this before, but it's uh, forward passing. You're going to do five touch passes back and forth, back and forth, making sure we're putting proper weight on the front of our stick. Um, if the touch passes aren't working, we can slow it down. But on that fifth pass, F1 is going to pass to F3. A little quick give and go, just like that, and you guys are going to rotate um, through. All right. It's more important to me that you guys maintain control of the puck. Um, and if our uh, touch passes, we lose control of that puck, then we need to cushion the puck, receive it, um, and make sure we're cur cur uh, uh, curling our stick over it the right way and give a nice pass across the ice uh, to our teammate. There's five things we're looking at. Look, slide, guide, and point when we pass the puck. Those five things are going to ensure that you guys have a nice smooth pass uh, anytime you make that pass. And we'll go over that on the ice. Look, slide, guide, point. That's going to be one station going on over here on forehands. On this side, I just want you to look at this part right here. Pepper passing, but we're going to be doing backhands. It's basically, basically four or five players going to line across. We'll have a player up here at the top. You guys are going to work on backhand passes back and forth. Same thing. Receiving the puck, cushioning the puck, um, tilting our blade over the puck to keep it flat. And the same thing uh, applies on a backhand pass. You look, you slide the puck, you guide the puck, and you point to where you want the puck to go. And that's how we uh, make a good backhand pass as well. Um, <clears throat> Up here in the neutral zone, and on this side as well, we're going to have players working on boards passes, both on our forehand and backhand. Indirect passing is pretty important, boys, both on breakouts uh, and coming into the neutral zone. And I think sometimes that's not something we practice enough to know exactly just how hard we need to hit this puck off the boards to receive it and to catch it. Um, so that'll be going on in the neutral zone. And uh, we'll work on those through those three stations as well. Again, goalies will be with Coach Spittle working on some things at, at that end of the ice. All right. <clears throat> After that, we're going to do a uh, half ice seven pass drill. Um, we're going to set up with some players uh, on the boards here, players on the boards here. One player is going to step out from here. So basically what's going to happen is uh, X1 is going to start skating backwards, and when he does, he's going to receive a pass from X2. He's going to give that puck right back to him for two passes that have taken place. X1 is then going to turn around and face X3. This is all happening without stopping. He'll get a pass, receive it, um, receive a pass, and give it right back to X3. He's then going to come up high in the neutral zone, have a nice good angle as he's coming through here, and call for that puck, and he's going to receive that puck from X2 as he's coming in. X1 is going to skate with the puck, not just fire it, but skate with the puck a bit, pass that puck to X4 for a bit of a give-and-go, whether it be a stiff stick or a one-timer, and he's going to put the puck in the net. Now X1 is then going to take the place uh, in this circle over here. Um, so basically the player that finishes, whichever line you left from, you're then going to end up in that opposite circle. So, if, uh, and then it'll start, the Joel will start over here. You'll see X3 take off and do the same thing, and then he'll come down the ice, take a shot, and X3 will replace uh, over here. So, back and forth, back and forth. Again, we're just looking for controlled passes, guys, passing on the move, making sure we're going to be watching your eyes, making sure you're looking before you make that pass. We shouldn't be passing it into anybody's feet. It should be on their stick blade every single time. It's going to take some discipline on your all's part. Uh, making sure we're not flinging the puck, but looking, sliding, guiding, and pointing that puck on our passes. And then um, make sure we receive that puck here in the neutral zone and maintain control. And then come in here and, and get a good offensive opportunity shot there. All right. <clears throat> so then we'll do that after we do our uh, station passing. I'm going to break you guys into a small game. Uh, talking to a bunch of you guys, there's a lot of defensive zone questions about where to be defensively as far as wingers go. Defense don't have the questions. The center, for the most part, doesn't have the questions. It seems to be our wings. First thing we got to realize on anything defensively is to make sure that we have the right body positioning, okay? That we're on the net side, uh, that we're not getting beat on stops and starts with someone that has a puck when we don't, that we're not taking lazy turns, that we're staying with our man, all right? This is a great small game. Actually, in USA Hockey just posted this. I thought it was fantastic for our current situation. So here's what we're going to do. we got three O's out here, and we got three X's out here. For the purposes of the drill, X is on offense right now, all right? And O's are on defense. X's, you can go anywhere you want inside this entire half ice, all right? 
the team that's on defense, you're going to have three players on the side here. So because O's on defense, they're going to have three players here. They can't get in the play. They can't interact in the play. They can't do anything. They just have to stand right here. All right? X's, you guys can circulate that puck. You could do whatever you want inside here, making passes, using the back of the boards for indirect passes. I'm going to be watching our offensemen, or I'm sorry, our O's rather. Um, how are they positioned inside the zone here? Um, <clears throat> making sure we're staying net side, staying with the man, etc. If at any time O's get the puck, they're going to pass it to these guys on the boards here. Once they do that, that activates O, uh, the O's on offense. Three, three O's, you're done. You get out. These three guys now step in, and you guys are playing against these three X's on offense. So now I'm looking for X's to be uh, net side positioning, body positioning, stick on puck. Uh, when we make our body checks, our body checks have a stick on the puck and our body on body. All right. Because X's are on defense now, <clears throat> three new X's are going to have to come out and step on the boards here, just like the O's did. All right. And you guys don't do anything until X's get the puck. As soon as X's get the puck, they're going to pass it to you, and that's going to activate you guys on offense. These three X's will get out, and all of a sudden now we'll have three O's step out. It's a continuous game. It may start out slow at first. But I expect you guys to move your feet on offense. I expect you guys to put your body between the puck and the uh, person playing defense so we don't give it away to them. And then we have to move and create options and opportunities for us. All right? Play the body when it's appropriate and support each other when it's appropriate. All right? We'll play that for a while. Once we got, well, I'm sure you guys are understanding the way our body positioning needs to be <clears throat> on uh, defense, making sure we're checking appropriately and supporting each other. Then we'll move on to um, uh, our next drill. Our next drill, I'm going to set us up stagnant. Stagnant means nothing's happened. I'm going to put us in what would be our defensive positioning or our sag, right? Defense is in the corner here. We got defense on the back side. Center's here on the strong side post. Forward's got the strong side winger covered up here and then our sag guy. We're going to put some cones out here to help us understand where the weak side winger needs to be, okay? To start it off, it's going to be real simple, guys. I'm going to take a player. I'll just take an X here. I'm going to take a player. I'm going to move him out here, and I'm going to give him the puck. I'm going to say go. And this guy's going to play 5 on 1. Once he gets the puck, once this defense either takes the puck or it's a pin and he needs support and the center comes over, excuse me, the center comes over to support him, then I'm going to see, uh, help us with our transition to our breakout. All right? So when the center gets the puck, let's say in this instance, obviously this guy's coming on the support. We're making that pass. And the big thing I see from watching our game view, uh, re game review is when this uh, strong side winger gets this pass, he doesn't do anything. He stands still. And what happens is you have an opposing defenseman then comes down on him full speed. And then the winger that's down here comes up and collapses on him. And this guy is taken off. Um, like we've discussed in the past, but I think our timing is off. And so we're going to help with our timing. All right, we're getting too far uh, in front of the puck because we really don't have good possession. Okay, so what I want to make sure we do in this instance is when this winger gets the puck, I want him to step away from the boards and get off the uh, boards and start skating the puck up. He's got support right here. I want him to make that immediate pass right there. Make that immediate pass. You're still attacking this guy two on one. And you can skate diagonally across the ice. We don't want to just skate straight up and down. We want to skate in lanes. This guy's going to come up. Obviously, the winger's coming out just like that. All right. This is more or less a defensive zone awareness drill and not a... Um, I'm not looking for you guys to make an offensive rush down, down that end of the ice, all right? Let me back it up for a second. Let's say this defenseman plays the body and is able to get possession of this puck. What are his options, all right? Again, I've got these purple things here because I want you to look at the three lanes that we have. One, two, three lanes, all right? In this instance, there's really no need for us to reverse the puck to this defenseman because we have options and there's not too many... Um, there's no nothing on this side of the ice that's preventing us from making this play, all right? He's got that option to make this pass right here, or the center is coming and looping in, and he can make a pass to the center. When he makes that pass to the center, this forward's going to take up, off. This forward's going to take off, too, spreading the ice. And I'd like to see a headman play to either one of those guys. And I'll show you why those simple little three-foot headmans are important in just a second. All right? All right, so let me back us up here. Get us back into our defensive zone positioning. Now let's say I add another forward, opposing team forward down here. Make them purple. I'm going to put them down the center of the ice. All right, let's say go. You guys are playing defense. All right, um, let's say center comes down and address this guy. And um, we are set up just like this. Okay. 
let's say defenseman plays the body for whatever reason um, we're loading the side of the ice and we do call a switch and the puck switches over um, switches over to this defenseman all right the weak side winger said that they're having a hard time getting to the side of the ice in time boys <clears throat> I've watched different breakouts on different teams I've uh, done a little bit of um, just looking at some stuff on my own in our video review uh, there's not a real good answer for you here except you got to skate hard um, you, some of you guys are just skating backwards and you're thinking you need to face the play the entire time I get that um, if you need to jump forwards get a few quick strides and transition and face the play backwards do that when that defenseman gets the puck and he comes behind the net here and we see it switching because remember this is a pass right so it's boom pass we're moving switching pretty quick he can make that pass to you our center's already left Okay, our center's already left, and he's filling in the center part of the ice, so he's an option. And then this winger is going to come up and start supporting as well, all right, because the puck is coming across um, this part of the ice. So we've got multiple different options taking place here, okay? Um, I would love to see, again, we've talked about this, and this is uh, us already have full possession of the puck. So we've gone from not having possession to now going to a breakout. When that center comes across the support here, whether this man comes across and pushes this way, or we just come and isolate this one defenseman. Isolate this one defenseman. There's options for us to break the puck out through the um, for through here. The defenseman passing up the center lane right here. Uh, but those options exist, and we'll talk them through the ice um, once we get out there and we see what what support we have. Okay, I want you to watch this really quick. I thought this was a great breakout video, and I want you to watch it. So here's Calgary. Okay, so I'm gonna let it play through here. The first thing that they show, which I think is great, is obviously being physical in the puck. We're going to watch Calgary on a breakout, okay? So stop for one second. Here we got below the dots. We got one, two, three, and two uh, Edmonton players. So we're already 3v2 below the dots, which is exactly what we're setting up for. You got this winger right how. He's going to start facing the play. Obviously, I'm assuming the weak side winger is on this side of the ice, somewhere in that sag area, okay? Notice that not only the outnumber on the puck, this guy is staying high. He's got to be a breakout option. He's facing the play. Okay, let it play through here. So that puck's going to come up to them, and then you can see the weak side winger was right here. He's going to make that pass because there's already back pressure coming on him. A lot of the times I see us holding on to the puck just too long, trying to skate it all the way up the ice, and we're either pickpocketed from behind. But again, think about when you make passes, number one, passing creates confusion, and number two, it shifts the angle of attack, and that's what we're looking to do. And here you have the um, other offenseman getting in to join the rush as well. All right. <clears throat> but that's the, the quick passing out of the zone. Let it come through here full speed again. Quick puck out of the zone. All right. So here let's watch it go through again. It's three on two below the dots. Defenseman center. The other defenseman's right here in the zone. This is a quick transition, boys. All right. Weak side is in the sag. Okay, the center sees that they're transitioning to offense, so he automatically starts joining in the play. He's coming from behind. Notice that this winger here is getting the puck. This defenseman's already started to encroach on him. He makes a pass over to the supporting player, and then the strong, uh, the weak side sag winger starts heading out of the zone as well. All right, so three on two below, make that quick pass, and then they're out of the zone. Notice how quickly he starts moving his feet, and then boom, just takes off as quick as he can out of the zone. All right. All right. So now let's swap it. Now it's the Oilers coming out uh, on a breakout play. Let me back it. Oh, I messed that up there. Hold on one second, guys. I messed it up. Let me forward it up here a little bit. Mm, Oilers, Oilers, Oilers. Give me a sec. There we go. Nothing wrong with seeing it three or four times. Okay, next is going to be the Oilers doing the exact same thing coming out of the zone on their on their breakout. So let's watch it. Notice they have three on two down low support as well. They outnumber the puck. All right, one, two. Um, sorry, the center was playing a little bit high right there. Uh, and then they pass it to their winger. Notice that winger makes that two-foot headman. You're like, why do we need to make a two-foot headman? Well, if you look, here comes the back. Some pressure on them again. He's coming up. If he holds on to that puck, it gets stripped away. But as soon as he gets the puck, he starts moving his feet, which I think is important. Starts moving his feet. Boom, get the puck. Move. And at the same time, um, he headmans that puck to that supporting player, and then they start to spread out the ice. Okay? <clears throat> Let 
And again, just showing the two wingers supporting each other, um, coming out of the zone. And uh, that's about it right there. So I wanted you just guys to see those uh, breakout plays and what we're looking to do when we go out there. Um, so we'll go from 5-on-1 to 5-on-2 to 5-on-3, and we'll keep increasing it, just making sure we're making the right decisions, making sure our weak side wingers are getting into the right spots of the ice, okay? And in um, <clears throat> great support drill, I like this. Um, we're going to give it a shot. Basically, we're going to put a, a player down below the goal line. Nobody can go below the goal line except him. It's 2v2 inside the zone here. Uh, whoever has the puck on offense, this guy's with them. So it creates multiple three-on-twos. But what I like about it is if O's are coming down and they turn over the puck and X's pick it up, you basically have what is a breakout player, this winger. All right? He's going to transition the offense with you guys. And then these um, two forwards are coming in, and you guys are working three-on-twos coming all the way down. But I think it works out great for breakouts, also for passing, uh, making sure we're in good lanes, and then uh, getting open as well. All right, guys, that's the summary of the practice. We'll see you on the ice.